Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bass and More Outdoor, I'm Justin. So in today's episode, um, I have something I've been waiting for a long time, um, for not only just the channel, but for um, other outdoor purposes we have, and I'll get into that as we get going and show you all the reasons why. But as you can see, I've got this new box here, and the name on the box is Newer. This is a tripod. Um, now I found this on Amazon. It was just over $100 and everything that is used in this video, including this, will be linked in the description down below. So please check that out if you want to. Comes in a nice little convenient carrying case with adjustable strap here. So you can adjust the length of strap to give you, you know, more over the shoulder, stuff like that. This will be great. It can easily attach to the bottom of my pack while out hunting and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, let's get into this. And there's a reason why I chose this and several reasons. One, it's carbon fiber. So due to the fact that it's carbon fiber, it's lighter weight. And it shows online that it comes in at 3.1 pounds. And just for the heck of it, we are gonna go ahead and test that. And we're gonna go ahead and weigh it here and see uh, come on, if I can get the hook on there and see exactly how much it does weigh. And pretty dang close. Um, hopefully you guys can see that. I'm at 3.2 pounds right there. So pretty close. <clears throat> 3.1 pounds, 3.2 pounds. I can deal with that. Um, this will be great for hunting. So um, as you can see, it's got three legs here and these legs lock there's the first lock, so you can put this kind of straight out like this, um, and I believe, yeah, I don't think it gets too much more taller than that, but that's fine because if I were to use these as this type of purpose, it would be more in a hunting situation where I'm sitting on the ground or something like that. Um, you know, and you can extend the legs to give you an extra firm base there, firm grip. Um, so let's go ahead and Let's show you, this will lock all the way back. That's as low as they'll lock right there. So this will give you an ultimate height right here. Um, and let me extend some of these legs a little bit. And it's got a total of four, there we go, four leg extensions. So there's one, two, three, four. So this thing can get pretty dang tall once you extend all four of them out. And I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how tall this can get <clears throat> and then from there we'll start bringing it down and showing you some of the other stuff and um, features of this so there you go <clears throat> as you can see that's as tall as it's going to get right there and that's above my head well about about level with my head so i'm five foot nine i know i'm not that tall and this is just under me so i would guess that this is probably right there at five foot seven has a total height, and just for the heck of it, let's find out for sure. And man, I was close. Five foot six and a half. So just under five foot seven. Um, and you know, there might actually be, so this goes down. Yeah, that's about as high as it goes. So yeah, so you're right there about five foot six. You can set it in this tallest position, obviously, as you see, and then lower it down here. So you can get yourself right behind that camera, which is really nice. And um, that's one of the things I wanted to go over here. So, um, this has a level right here and it also has a level right here. So you can get this thing. If you really watch those bubbles, you can level this thing out. You have a knob right here, which loosens your, um, I don't even know what you want to call it. Dealio on top. You could, it has a cutout so you can tilt it sideways. Um, and then of course, once you get yourself level and in the position you want, you just tighten that down. And then on the bottom, you also can turn this. And it actually has the degrees listed down below so you can get your arrows set right on the degrees you want and all that stuff like that. So that is really cool right there. Um, there's just so much adjustability to this. And you can see one of the reasons why I got this is it's an Arca Rel. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with a lot of stuff, but Arcarel is really cool. It comes with this plate with the screw adapter on it. And then from there, whatever you attach, 
you can just quickly put on here. So if you attach a camera, or if you're attaching binoculars, or if you're attaching a rangefinder, or a GoPro, which I happen to have attachments for the GoPro right here. So you can see you could quickly attach that, put that in. Um, I also have attachments for my cell phone. So you can see I could quickly put that in and put my cell phone in. And one of the things, one of the main reasons why I've wanted this a long time, I've wanted this ever since I started my channel for the simple fact of holding my camera. Now my camera is currently sitting, and you guys are, I'm not gonna show you because I don't wanna embarrass myself and make you guys laugh, but it's sitting on a bar stool with a cooler on top of it and then a small tripod on top of that. Um, and maybe I will actually take a picture of it. Uh, yeah, I will. I'll add a picture of it right now just so you guys can see that. Um, now one of the cool things about it is, is it does hold my charger pack for the camera and my wireless mic for the camera. So that helps out, which once I put it on the tripod, I'm probably going to have to find some sort of zip tie system or something to hold those on. I'll have to figure that out. Um, but anyways, as we keep going, one of the other cool things about this is it has this hook. Now this hook, and of course they're all over there in the corner, I'm not going to worry about it. If you have a sandbag or something, so if it's a windy day and you're afraid of your tripod tilting over, you can just add some weight on there and it's going to help hold that down. So that is really convenient. Um, so one of the other cool things about an Arcarel, and as you guys can probably see it in the background behind me, is this is going to be huge for me for range days, hunting days, or whatever else because this just snaps right in the Arcarel and then tighten it down and voila, I can hold my rifle. And I can simply swivel the rifle around or if I happen to be up on a hill, I can tilt it down to look downhill, which obviously I can lower the legs to where I can see behind the scope. Or if I'm pointing uphill, I could quickly get behind the rifle and point uphill as well too. Now just so you know, everything is always safe. There's no magazine, there's no bullet in the chamber, and it's on safety. So everything's always safe that I do on this channel. Um, and like I said, this is one of the benefits and one of the reasons as to why I got this is so that I can take this out to the range and I can work on my shots at the range or I can even put this in my pack as I was saying. When it's in the bag, it'll strap right underneath my camel pack for the day and I can take this with me hunting. So when I set up and I'm ready to take that shot, I'm way more steady and able to get anywhere I need to. I can level out the rifle right there. So there's the level in my bubble up here. Um, I'm level here, and <clears throat> I'm definitely not level there, but that's okay. So um, I just wanted to show you that real quick. That's just an added benefit to the Arcarel. And then, of course, with it being Arcarel, I can simply adjust my rifle back here to where I can get a decent shot as well, too. And that's the cool part about having Arcarel systems is there's so much adjustability to them and things you can do. Um, so as I said... There's multiple benefits to this tripod for me, which is not just my, uh, recording on my channel, which is what this mainly is going to be used for, but also for hunting purposes, um, slash range day purposes and stuff like that. And I am dying to try this out. This does say that it's capable of holding 26 pounds. That rifle with the weights on the front and everything else is just barely at 15 pounds. So this is, what would that be, 11 pounds under the max weight. Um, and with the added weight on that rifle and everything else, it doesn't have near as much recoil. So I'm really hoping this will stand up at the range, which we will find out soon, um, as I will most likely take it to the range this afternoon and check it out to see how well it does. So anyway, so if you're out hunting, like I was saying, and you're on a hill and you're sloped down, you can extend your two legs out, and then, as we were talking about before, we can bring, you know, a leg in, um, and adjust for the slope of that hill. So if you're on that hill, now you can set it like this, or you can even bring this arm out. Um, and there's several different positions for it. You can go right there. And so if you're on a hillside, you can set this, those two legs down there and this in the hill here, and now you still get yourself somewhat level. You can bring it down a little further, obviously bring the legs out to get yourself, like I said, situated on that hillside. So um, lots of different options for this thing. Um, that I just, I, I fell in love with it. And like I said, being car full carbon fiber, the weight of it, it is super light. It is super easy to maneuver and um, get around. The other thing is, and this is one of the things I thought was really cool, 
is you can turn these legs upside down like this. And I don't know honestly why anybody would do this, but then you can turn this upside down and you can have your camera upside down. And for a lot of photographers, um, you know, out in the real world, taking photos, things like that, you guys might use that quite a bit. For myself, doing my GoPro videos, um, and you can obviously, sorry, let me, before I get too far ahead of myself, you can obviously lower this, loosen this right here. Let me get these legs stable. So I'll loosen this in the middle. Okay, so anyway, so there, like I said, you can do that and adjust that. So there's all sorts of different things you can do with this thing. Um, and I haven't even gotten to one of the coolest parts of this yet. So let's flip this all back around here. And like I said, I can have my camera set up. Um, got that leg locked. Let's get this leg locked. Hold on. There we go. Get this leg locked. Okay. So you can get this camera set down at an angle like this. So if you are shooting up on a hillside, you can angle it up if you're doing something. So that's, like I said, so many different things. You can do it sideways if for some reason you needed to, which a lot of people doing photography will do that. Um, myself, I won't. You can quickly adjust it. So if you have somebody behind the camera, like my wife or something, if she's recording a video for me, she can follow me around as I move side to side um, or quickly just kind of make small adjustments and tilt it down if need be to watch me and have this as stable as possible. Um, so a lot of cool stuff there. And then to go back with the hunting, there's one leg right here that says detachable. So if you just twist this, you can see this leg comes off. Um, now, of course, this is going to be fun since I left this all the way up. But with that off, we can twist this off. And I'm leaving the GoPro on just for the heck of it right now. Um, in most cases, I don't see where you would have the GoPro still on. But you take this off. It has the nut the shape of the nut and you have the nut right here. So you put this on the back and this actually removes that nut properly for you. Then, and you can see you've got the screw here. This screws on to the back of this. So now what you've got, and we're going to go ahead and take this off is if I'm out hiking, say I'm on a hunt and I've got everything in my pack and I'm climbing up hills, I can use this as a walking stick. And if I get to a point to where I see an animal and decide that I don't have enough time to take off all my gear, set up my tripod, all that stuff like that, the Arca rail's right on top. So I just quite simply, and this will be fun here one-handed, but quite simply take and pop the gun into that Arca rail, tighten it down, and now I have the ability to kind of stable myself, as you can see, while out shooting. So I can simply steady myself right here and take a much better shot than if I were to try to hold this by myself. So I don't even have to take the whole tripod hunting with me. I can just take this simple monopod right here with me and use this, like I said, to hike up, take that shot and everything else. So um, lots of benefits and applications to this. Um, and I can see how maybe as a photographer, um, if you are out doing the same thing, you're hiking around and all of a sudden you see a bird. So you put your camera on, get that right shot and you're stabled behind that camera and taking those pictures a lot easier than if you were to try to hold it by both hands. So I can definitely see the added benefit of that as well too. Um, as far as filming, I don't see a benefit for it because obviously nothing's going to be able to hold that as I'm standing in front of the camera. Um, but I'm sure I could find some sort of way to lean that against a tree or a post and still be able to use that for filming. So, but anyways, I just wanted to go through and touch up with that for you guys. <clears throat> this was something new that, uh, like I said, I've been wanting for a little bit and I'll just go ahead and I'll demonstrate throwing this back together for you. I'm going to set this down right here. I know it's out of view, um, but we're going to just twist the leg back on so that we've got it back on the tripod mode here. If I can get it, 
There we go. And then, like I said, you have your, your bolt that came with it, so you just screw that bolt in the bottom. And then you have this tightener that tightens that bolt, so we're just going to make that adjustment. And then from there, you're going to tighten the whole thing down together. And that's exactly what that bottom piece is, is to loosen and tighten that thing. Um, so once you get it in good, you shouldn't have to worry about that. Um, so yeah, so like I said, really cool benefits of this tripod and for just over $100 and for a total, uh, you know, 26 pound max weight limit on this thing. I mean, I, I could see endless possibilities with this thing. Not only out on the boat doing some fishing, out on the docks doing some fishing and recording videos for you guys. Um, right here in the garage. I no longer have to put it on the cooler as I showed you before. I can have the camera on the tripod doing my videos, which I think I'm going to go ahead and set up and do a couple more videos for you guys right now. So anyways, I just wanted to say thank you, show you guys this. Um, this is not a review. This is just an unboxing to show you what's in there. A review will come later as I get the opportunity to use this a lot more, not only in filming and shooting. Um, but thank you for tuning in. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget, if you have not done so, please subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you guys on the next episode, and thank you guys for tuning in.